there are three main hardware components in a computer system that is the input storage and the output first of all we learn about the input devices so in this particular topic we will see the example uh, each of particular uh, input devices so these devices are used for entering data or instructions to the central processing unit that is the cpu and are classified according to the method they use to enter the data that means how the user is going to provide the uh, particular enter the data whether with the help of entering keys or by pressing the mouse keys and so on okay so first of all we we'll see the input device is the keyboard the keyboard is the similar to the typewriter there are some keys with the help with, a, with the help of which we can uh, access the computer system and is the main input device of the computer so it contains three types of keys in it that is alphanumeric keys special keys and function keys so in this picture you can see the keyboard so in the keyboard there are three types of keys as we have seen in the uh, previous slide so these alphanumeric keys are used to type all the alphabets the numbers and the special symbols special characters like the dollar percentage at the rate and the uh, alphabets okay then special keys such as the shift control alt home scroll lock these are used for performing the special functions on the computer system next the third type of keys are the function keys like the f1 f2 f3 etc which are used to give special commands depending upon the software which is used that is for example f5 reloads a page of an internet browser so the, with the shortcut key we can reload that uh, reload our browser page so the function of each and every key can be well understood only after working on a pc and any key is pressed and electronic signal is produced and that signal electronic signal is passed to our computer system and according to that it will process whatever the input or request is coming from the user and provide the output on the monitor the next type of input devices are the pointing devices so these are devices that enter data and instructions into the computer using a pointer that appears on the screen so with the help of that pointer we are going to give the commands to the computer system the items to be entered are selected by either pointing to or clicking on them for example the mice the joystick or uh, touch sensitive screen track balls etc these are examples of the pointing devices so the example of the pointing device is the mouse a mouse is a small device used to point and select items on your computer screen so with the help of that pointer we can select any item on your uh, monitor okay we can just click on that and we can just uh, browse that particular item a mouse usually has two buttons that is a primary button usually the left button and the secondary button which is on the right hand side of our uh, of the mouse many mice also have a wheel between the two buttons which allows you to scroll smoothly through the screens of information okay that will be helpful for going up and down okay next in this figure we can see the position of our hand with the mouse okay so the palm on the base of the mouse so in that position we have to hold the mouse while using the computer system then thumb on the right Uh, on the side of the mouse then the pointer or uh, that is your first finger on the left uh, button of the mouse and the middle finger on the right mouse button the next type of input devices are the scanning devices so these are the devices that capture an object or the document directly from the source so they are classified according to the technology used to capture data for example the scanners and the document readers by by scanning those particular images or those documents we can get that electronic copy of that particular documents so the example of the scanning devices are the scanners which are used to capture a source document and it converts that document into an electronic form for example a flat bed and the handheld scanners these are examples of the scanners in this uh, figure also we can see there are various types of scanners like the all in one scanner 
फ्लैट बेड स्कैनर ड्रम स्कैनर हैंड हेल्ड स्कैनर विच इज यूज टू स्कैन दी बार कोड सो द स्कैनर कन्वर्ट प्रिंटेड डेटा और द इमेजेस इन टू एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा format that a computer can store or process as required so the scanned data can be stored in our computer system and whenever required we can just read or we can just um, use that particular data a scanned image can be saved it can be modified and even emailed as you would with any other kind of file Okay. Next example of these scanning devices are the barcode readers. Uh, most oftenly, we can see this kind of barcode readers in the uh, mart, shopping malls. Okay, whenever they just use these barcode readers on a particular item, so the details about that particular uh, product will be displayed on their computer system. We okay. next will learn about the output devices. Okay, so after the input devices, another important uh, components of the computer system are the output devices that displays the output to the user with which the user can interact with the computer system. So the output devices are like monitor, printer, speakers, headphones, projector, touch screens, plotter, and GPS. These are some common, most oftenly used uh, examples of the output devices. So an output device is any piece of a computer hardware equipment which converts information into a human perceptible form. That means it should be easily understandable by the human beings. They can easily read whatever is there on the output device, and it uh, physical machine readable format. Uh, so be displayed uh, in that particular um, output device. So it can be a text, it can be graphics, it can be audio, video. Example include like the monitors. Printers, speakers, headphones, projectors, GPS devices, and Braille readers. These are examples of the output devices. Next, we are going to explore the storage devices, which is the third important part of the uh, types of devices in the computer system. So, these storage devices are basically used to store the data that can be temporarily or the permanently. So based on that, we can just use that particular data whenever uh, whenever we require to uh, read or we retrieve that particular data. So that store store data can be used uh, later. So a storage device is a piece of a hardware that is primarily used for storing data. Every desktop computer, laptop, tablet, and smartphone will have some kind of storage device within it. without which we obviously we cannot uh, use that particular device so there are also stand alone external storage devices that we can use across the devices some external uh, devices we can uh, attach to that particular uh, computer system okay in this figure we can see there are various kinds of computer storage or memory devices which are used to store the data such as the hard disk ram rom CD or DVD drive, then uh, floppy, memory card, pen drive, and tape drive. Next, we are going to learn about the different kind of computers. That is the topic: modern computers. So there are various types of computers, such as micro computer, mini computer. personal computers which are also called as workstations supercomputers laptop tablet these are various kinds of computer systems so first of all we'll see what exactly the workstation kind of computers are okay so these are also called as personal computers so these workstation is a high performance computer system that is basically designed for a single user and has advanced graphics capabilities large storage capacity and a powerful central processing unit but it is designed for a single user only next type of computer is the main frame computer and this main frame computers are designed to support hundreds or thousands of users simultaneously that means at a time these number of uh, multiple uh, users can access that particular main frame computers they can support multiple programs at the same time it means they can execute different processes simultaneously applications of the main frame computers such as the healthcare centers field of defense field of education as well as 
whereas in retail sectors these mainframe computers are most oftenly used next type of computer is the super computers the super computers are the biggest and fastest computers they are designed to process huge amount of data a super computer can process trillions of instructions in a second that means within a second a large amount of data can be processed with the help of this super computers it has a thousands of interconnected processes in it that works simultaneously and process that data in, in in some milliseconds then there are some applications of the super computers the super computers are most oftenly used uh, in designing the flight simulators for the pilots diagnosis of various critical diseases smog control system next the last type of uh, computer is the mini computers so these mini computer are the computers which are smaller less expensive and less powerful than a mainframe or the super computer but more expensive and more powerful as compared to the personal computer these mini computers are nothing but our laptops okay so mini computers were used for scientific and engineering computations business transaction processing file handling as well as in the field of database management thank you students